I know when we had a conversation and I was asking you about, so what are some of the big pain points that you have? The thing that you, you came up with was probably the biggest pain that I've got is I've got this database of people, but I'm terrified to send emails to them or put them on some sort of drip sequence because I don't want to lose them. Um, and this is something that I mentioned is quite common. And so I want to do this episode on that is that you don't need to fear losing them if you're delivering them content that is relevant and interesting to them. And so when I sign up for newsletters or I purchase something and I start getting some subsequent emails, um, I don't delete those or I don't uh, unsubscribe from that list if I'm getting something of value. So it's all about a value exchange. I'm exchanging the privilege to put something in my inbox for the value that I'll receive from that as a person who's consuming that content, right? And so that's the way that you really want to think about it. So if you're nervous about that at all, then what that should do is drive you to creating better content or uh, the best content you possibly can. So don't just email people for the sake of emailing people or spam them with, uh, you know, you know, different things that aren't of value potentially to them. Now, the thing that I love about e-commerce operations is that you're selling products that people have purchased or people have tasted at a farmer's market or some other tasting event and then they've signed up or you got their contact information that way. Those people have had a good experience with your product and so they are going to want to find out when truffles are on uh, back on the menu again, right? And so you don't want to be scared of reaching out to them. You want to treat them as if you would treat, you know, a uh, an acquaintance that really loves your product. If you bumped into somebody at it, who loved your product and you bumped into them on the street or you bumped into them while you're out shopping at the local grocery store or something like that, you wouldn't have a problem saying, oh, by the way, you know those truffles that you loved? I just got a new new batch of them made and so we're they're going to be available for the next uh, week probably and it will be sold out again. You wouldn't have a problem saying that to them, right? Yeah, exactly. 